I'm going to show you everything you need to know to use capacitors in Ender IO. So I have in my inventory here one, two, three, four, five, six different capacitors. The first three are from the default Ender IO mod, and the other three actually come from Ender IO Energy. There are different add on mods that you can get for Ender IO, and this is one that I'm using here as an example. So when we look at our machines, you can see in here it says that you need to put in a capacitor so the machine can work. The most basic capacitor is the basic capacitor. Machine upgrade, if I hold shift, you can see it increases the energy and storage and speed or range of a machine. And the global level is one. This may look a tad different throughout different Minecraft versions, but don't worry, they all work the same way. A global level of two means it's the better version, three, 3.5, four, and five, etc. So I'm using a slice and splice as an example. And if I could pick up my basic capacitor, I could put it into this slot here where now it's fine. And what you can see is that this bar, this energy bar in my machine is 100,000. If I then put a double layer capacitor in here, it's 300,000. If I put in a stellar capacitor, it's 1.3 million. So the, the higher the capacitor you put in, the actual higher the energy storage of that machine will be and the faster and more efficient the machine will be at actually doing its job. So you do want to put in a higher and higher capacitor if you can. Now, if I press R on the basic capacitor, you can see it takes, for the basic one, just two grains of infinity, some copper and gold nuggets, whereas a double layer one will then need two of the basic ones with some coal dust and energetic alloys. Then if we go on to the octatic one, again, it needs a double layer capacitor and then vibrant alloy ingots. And then for the... Um, crystalline one these ones are going to be a bit different there's different ways to make them again it needs two octatic so basically what i'm saying is you make the basic ones and then you need two basic to make a double layer two double layer to make an octatic two octatic to make a crystalline etc etc and again the base three these three here are the only ones you're going to get in the actual base ender io mod most of the alloys you will be making to make these will actually be made in an alloy smelter um, or an alloy furnace so do be wary that you will need that some very advanced capacitors can actually be found in dungeon chests and places like that as well by the way and it will depend on what end io add-on mods you do have installed but that pretty much is how you're going to use capacitors in ender io do check out the playlist you now see on screen as i'm doing the entire ender io mod for you as a tutorial and also check out on my channel the the Minecraft mod playlist as I actually um, do cover a, um, a lot of different Minecraft mods on this channel.